Hello, boys and girls. This is the Morning Gardener, and we're taking a quick check on everything, see how everything's going. As you know, I am doing my own seeds this year like I do every year, but this year I'm having much more success on my seedlings because of the simple fact that I'm using, let's see, can we get it up here, my concoction, yeah, basically a copy off the original, it was an EM1, and it really, really stimulates plants in the growing. I mean, look at these uh, young asparagus. And I'm wondering if I'll have enough time to hold on to these until I get them out to the garden. And uh, they, they already, as you can see, touching the light. And uh, the watermelon is next to it, which is a mixed pot of seeds. Uh, Jubilee and also uh, Florida Giant. You can tell which ones are the floor giant seeds. You know, you can tell. And uh, then we got the uh, sugar babies, a smaller kind of uh, uh, seed. Uh, you can see. And then we got the uh, tree kale, which I got. I got now back up from the, uh, so you can see all of it. These are tree kale, and they get ready to get changed out into a pot that I purchased today. I'll show that to you. And then these are the. Um, uh, almost blocking the sign there, but tomato sweets. So, so you can look at this and see. I will not be paying three dollars or three or four dollars per plant this year. Um, and then we got the uh, which I've never had success with these. I'm just being honest. This is the best way to be honest, um, folks. These are banana peppers, and they have never been never been successful. And here they are. I'm getting a hundred percent germination on these plants. Uh, now we got the cantaloupe. You can see the one right there coming up. Uh, which, if you if you looked at my other uh, tape uh, or, or or film, telling my age uh, video, that there was only one plant in this pot. So now there's one there, and there's one there coming up. So soon there'll be probably six in here. These are cantaloupe. And they were put in on the 19th. These were this one put on the fifth. Took a long time for it to come up because it's an older seed, I guess. Um, now this one here, basil, and I put these in there, and you can see the little green there. And once I hit it with the EM1, they just started jumping out of the ground. Um, back here, jalapeno, right there, and they're, they're kind of thin and leaning over. And I just sprayed them and uh, kind of knocked them over. But uh, they'll stand back up. It's kind of cold tonight as well. So what I'm going to do... Oh, here are these here that, that you didn't even see. These are another set of... Um, of uh, what do you call them? Uh, asparagus. And then we got this one here, which is taking longer because it's further away from the heat mat. And then over here, a couple days ago... Well, about a day or two ago, I showed you these. These are onions. And these are uh, the Spanish onions. Spanish onions seem to be doing better. Um, as you can see, it should be close to about 300 and 350 or so odd seeds in here, maybe 400. But they just jumped out of the ground. You can see the little seed up on top of the shell of it on top of the uh, the plants. And so what I'm doing here is learning about nature and at the same time feeding myself and family and and these here are a crazy crazy way to do it which I think is a beautiful thing tree kale I just keep looking at it because it's the first time that she have grown it oh. and I'm just having a good time with this tomatoes these are the uh, Belgium Giants. Belgium Giant, Belgium uh, Pink. And last year, let's give you an example, is I tried to grow those and I had poor success on it because I was, I just wasn't paying attention to little things I should have. And uh, they just didn't do well. But this year, 100% germination on a seed that was close to uh, maybe two years old. A year and a half, two years old. And I got a, I got 100% germination on them using the EM1. I mean, look at this. All my seeds are. Just look at the color of the leaves and and just talk to me about that. 
and the bells are a little bit less green but they're still perfectly pretty green um, this one here beautiful 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 color not any yellow or anything in the in the uh, plant beautiful health no 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 uh, no kind of mold or anything on them they just they just doing great and um, these up here take a little longer to germinate which is rosemary I'm okay because my understanding is this seed does take a little longer I'm not worried about it but if I get those to produce I will have all the rosemary I need and then we got this here this cayenne pepper it's gonna be coming up soon I have no doubt California wonders uh, keep an eye out for that because that's gonna be coming up that's basically a bell pepper and uh, so we, we're looking good. We're looking good, ladies and gentlemen. This is this is how you do business. All right. This is the morning. Okay. Uh, these. This is the uh, investment I made today at uh, Walmart. And these are the pots. I'm switching them out to. Tell me if you have any thoughts on it, good people. These are 90 cents uh, a piece. I looked online. They they was. I don't know. They were trying to get me for quite a bit of money. These are 90 cents. They have like a little reservoir in the bottom for uh, for the whole water. And um, they uh, design a whole little water. And they have Walmart for 97 cents a piece. I bought, uh, I think, 22. I think I might have enough um, on the pots. And uh, so what I'm going to do is switch these out. No, well, not these, but the, the tree kale. It's going to stay together a little longer. That's my thinking on that. It's going to stay together a little longer, but I'm going to have a bigger pot I'm putting it into. And these are, uh, they look like six inch, uh, if I look at them here, they look like six inch diameter. And uh, about, um, I want to say, um, five and a half to six inches deep. I think it's six inches deep. So six by six pot. And I'm going to get them hold it as long as I can, uh, you know, so that I don't damage the roots while they're growing, still growing. Also, tomatoes are going to be done. Tomatoes are going to be done two per pot, and then the rest are going to be left in here as backups or whatever. But two per pot. I'm going to do uh, maybe six plants each uh, because when you do tomatoes, tomatoes are always a crop that's heavy demand. But that's going to be a lot of tomatoes. Everyone else is just probably saying it right now. It's going to be a lot of tomatoes. And also these peppers, banana peppers here, gonna be do, uh, they're going to be two per pot. And try to raise them, trying to hold on to them. Here's what I'm trying to do, folks. I'm trying to hold on to them until late May, I mean, excuse me, late April, early May. And that's what I'm trying to do. And this might not be big enough, but uh, I have some other pots that push come to shove. The tomatoes take priority. The watermelons are going to stay together. Uh, because uh, I have a feeling that um, you know, and I'll, and I'll plant some more watermelons because I want to make certain that I have enough um, in case I have any problems with these plants. If any die or anything like that, I still have backups. My whole key thing right now is backups because things have a habit of sometimes going awry and I want to make sure that I have backups to cover myself. I don't want to be doing like I did last year, have a minimal amount of plants and replanting and um, and because uh, and, you can always, uh, you know, plant, but you can't get back time when that year starts. You can't get back that back. So it's very short here in uh, Maryland, the growing season, and I want to make certain that I'm, I'm covered myself. I'd much rather be over covered than under covered is my point. So look at this uh, asparagus right there again. That is really incredible couple days ago it was not they were not there I sprayed the EM on it and it just jumped out of the ground all right this is the morning gardener